Hi there, and welcome to this introduction video of the new version of the Creating 3D Environments Blender course. So I'm surrounded by this beautiful location uh, with lovely trees, big rocks, a river, uh, really uh, a place for inspiration. And uh, a year ago I was walking here, or oh, I think it's longer than a year ago, and I thought this is the location that inspires me for the new version. And uh, from that moment I started to make new content, uh, writing uh, chapters, what I would like to create. Um, and I'm here uh, presenting this new version to you uh, and in this introduction video uh, I will explain what you're going to get, what to expect, what I'm going to teach you, what you're going to learn. <laughs> Lots of information. So let's go quickly to the course, uh, what you're going to learn. Now this course has eight chapters and in each chapter you learn something specific. So in chapter one we dive into like the organization stuff. Uh, I'm going to explain uh, what every chapter is all about, uh, what you're going to learn. Uh, but I'm also teaching things about how to organize yourself, how to get into a project and stay focused. Uh, so organization and management, uh, very important topics. Also something about motivation and inspiration. So this is a real nice place for inspiration. Um, but I'm explaining how, how to get these vibes to, uh, to get inside a project and keep focused. So, um, and something about asking questions and things like that. Chapter two is like we're diving into Blender. As a newbie, I'm going to explain what the new version is, 3.2. Uh, lots of things happens if I compare this course to the previous one. Um, we get now geometry nodes, we get an asset manager, uh, update on the outliner, um, tons of improvements. So this 3.2 version is like a big change for uh, creating 3D environments. So we're starting very simple, introducing you to the interface. Where is everything? Uh, what kind of tools do we really need? And what kind of tools we can like ignore? Uh, because I won't teach you the whole program. That's too much. I want to focus on creating the environments. Um, so first I'm teaching you the interface. Then we dive into uh, the basics of learning Blender. So we're creating some simple objects. Uh, we're going to create a table, a chair, and we're going to create some dices uh, just to get into the work process, uh, how I teach so you get comfortable with it. Uh, I'm really nice chapter uh, and it's essential for this course that, uh, that you have sort of a basic knowledge. So if you're totally new um, in, this, uh, in this subject uh, for creating 3D things, especially environments, um, I'll guide you to it. So chapter two is all about the basics. And then in chapter three, we get the full uh, first environment. We're creating a me down um, scene. So uh, a grass scene, um, and I'm going to show you how to create grass strands, how to pack these together, how to create a grass field, creating some flowers, packing this all together. We'll do this with the new geometry nodes. It's a really cool feature, uh, very powerful to scatter objects. So that's a specific for chapter three. Then in chapter four, we create a forest path scene. So uh, I'm introducing you to creating trees and not just simple trees. No, we're going to create scan trees uh, with real branches, a photorealistic bark, um, and we're going to add leaves. It's quite complex. We're going to do that in geometry notes, uh, but it's absolutely worth it to, uh, to watch it because after this chapter, you can create trees. So then in the end of this chapter, we're packing all these trees in a scene uh, with a nice pad and a sort of uh, water pool. Um, and you can make a nice render. So that's just for chapter four. That's really specific for creating the trees. Um, and in chapter five, we're going to create a rune scene. Uh, so um, we're going to create a rune. I'm teaching you how to blend materials how to uh, have multiple textures, packing these, and get a sort of a nice way of merging displacement. It's a big improvement if I compare this with my previous courses. 
Uh, and if we created this like moss material, we put this on a rune structure. Uh, and we're also going to add some bricks with geometry notes. So it's a really uh, epic chapter. And in the end, we're putting this rune structure in a scene, uh, copying the trees, adding the grass, and make a render. So that's for chapter five. Then we jump to chapter six. And chapter six is about um, the river, uh, river scene with a farmhouse. So like a scene like this, what you see here, a river, and there is a, like um, a building structure. Um, we're going to model this from scratch. So we're adding like all the objects like windows and a chimney uh, and a door. And then we're putting this in the forest scene. We're copying the trees and we're going to scatter the river with all kinds of rocks. That's really, really cool. Absolutely worth to watch it. Um, and then we're going to make a render in chapter six. Then we jump to chapter seven. That's a kind of a different scene. It's a castle sunset scene. So it's, um, uh, we're using a photo scanned castle and we're putting this uh, in the scene and we're working on the sky environment. So the great thing about this chapter is that we're going to create a sky from scratch. So we're adding sort of clouds in the air and merging this with a nice sunset. So we're having this really uh, different type of environment scene. Uh, it's like a morning scene, uh, but it fits perfect in this course. And then the final chapter in chapter uh, eight, that's the um, uh, mountain scene. And in the mountain scene, we're using some rune structures and we're putting these all together and uh, we're getting a, a mountain path. And like everything we learned from all the chapters, we're packing this in this one uh, and we're going to make a mice looking render. So that's quite a lot of uh, uh, information. I understand that, but um, that's like in short, what you're going to learn. So in the coming lectures, I will explain step by step what it's all about. Uh, this is just like the introduction and I hope you liked it. So I can't wait to start teaching you, um, especially in this nice environment. Um, I'm going to hope for a hike and I see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching and bye bye.